you've ever wanted to try making bread but you were a little bit apprehensive because you thought it was too challenging with the yeast and the water temperature and all of that, this is the bread you need to start with. Some people call it artisan bread, some people call it no need bread or overnight bread. I call it pajama bread because it's so easy, you can really make it in your pajamas. You only need four ingredients for this recipe, flour, water, salt, and yeast. The first thing you'll need is to put three cups of flour into your bowl. I've got one cup in there already, but let me just show you how you measure flour. Never dip your scoop into the flour canister, but just take a scoop or a spoon and lightly put the flour in there and then level it off. That's two cups, and you don't even have to be completely exact for this recipe. I would be much more exacting if I was making something like a cake, okay? And that's three cups. To your flour, you're going to add one and a fourth teaspoons of salt. This is kosher salt, but you can use any kind that you have. That goes in. And then we have a fourth of a teaspoon of active dry yeast. Just put that in. To that, you're going to add one and a half cups of water, and this is the easy part. It's just plain old room temperature tap water. It doesn't have to be at a certain temperature or anything. Put that in and you mix the whole thing up with just a wooden spoon. You see it really doesn't take any time at all. Usually I do this maybe last thing at night before I go to bed or in the evening after supper. And honestly, this bread is so simple that I actually taught my husband to make it who doesn't bake at all really much, okay? That's it, that's mixed up. You take that and you're gonna let this bread sit overnight, the rest of the day, and then overnight, covered with just a bit of plastic wrap or cling film. That's all there is to it. Leave that overnight, and we'll deal with it in the morning. Good morning. Now it's time to bake your pajama bread. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 475 and put your dish in the oven while it's preheating. You need to let your dish get nice and hot so it needs to stay in the oven at 475 degrees for at least 30 minutes. All you need is a fairly straight sided oven proof dish with a lid. You can use something like this or you can use a glass casserole with a lid, whatever you have. Um, anywhere between like a one and a half to a two quart type bowl, that's what you use. This is actually a four quart um, covered Dutch oven and I'm not sure if this handle is oven proof so I've just wrapped it with a little bit of foil. I've got my oven on 475 and I'm going to put this to heat up in the oven for 30 minutes with the lid on. Okay so our pan is in the oven getting hot and it's just about ready. I want to show you what the dough looks like this morning. You can see it's really filled up the bowl and it is full of bubbles. To get the dough ready for baking, you just need to take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it over the top. And then take something like a rubber spatula works really well and just kind of smash the dough in from the sides of the bowl. This will loosen it from the bowl so that it'll come out easily when you need to put it in the pan. You can see it's a very wet, and a very loose dough. It's too wet to handle with your hands, and that's why you need to use this spatula. You're just loosening it now from the bowl. And then I'm gonna get the dish out of the oven, and I'll show you how we bake it. Okay, now we've taken our very hot pan out of the oven, <clears throat> and here's what we do. Make sure you have hot pads ready because this is hot, the lid is hot, everything's hot. And that's part of the secret to this bread. You just take this dough and you just dump it right into the hot pan. You don't grease the pan, you don't do anything to it, but heat it up in the oven. After you get that in there, you're gonna put the lid on it, put it back into the oven for 30 minutes then take the lid off and you'll cook it for another 15, 10 to 15 minutes till it gets the top of it as brown as you like it.
Okay, this is a little bit tough to do with one hand, but let me show you what's happened here. Okay, the bread has been baking for 30 minutes, and you can see it's kind of a light brown on top. So what you need to do is just take the lid off of it, and now we're going to bake it for another 10 to 15 minutes with the lid off and reduce the heat to 425, and it'll get nice and brown on the top. Okay, so this is the bread after 10 minutes of cooking with the lid off, and I think that's just about as brown as I like it. Let me take it out and I'll show you how it comes out. Okay, so now let me show you how easily this bread comes out of the pan. Remember, we didn't grease the pan or anything. We just take it right out of the oven and set it on here, and you can just take it right out of the pan. You can check and see that the bread is done by just tapping on the bottom and you hear the sound that it makes. It's kind of a nice dull sound. And look, you've got a nice fresh loaf of crusty on the outside, chewy on the inside, artisan bread. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and hope you'll make this. One of the best parts is now you get to cut this and eat this with butter. You can hear the crunch from the crust and you can see all the nice craters and holes. It has a beautiful crumb on this bread. Just take a nice little piece of butter, spread it on there and enjoy that for your breakfast. You need to let it rest a few minutes after you take it out of the oven before slicing it because it will continue cooking in the middle just a little bit. Hope you enjoy this bread and you enjoy making this recipe.